they still engineer um engineer uh I'm currently in school. I'm starting school, by the way, you mean county college. Uh, my tag name is B and B. Uh I make beats, you know, instruments. I also do graphic design. Hey, tell, tell us, I mean, you say you're from yeah, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, right? Mm -hmm. How you going to go play in Jersey? Uh, you know, I um, had rough times with my parents. So, um, uh, basically, I'm like, you know, in a place right now, trying to hold me down. Um, it was why I left Brooklyn because I don't want to stay with my family again. So, I wanted to, like, move on, um, wanted to move on with myself. So, um, and uh, I start to stay out here because it's much closer to New York. So if I have some times, like, you know, when I want to spend a day in New York or whatever. But, you know, I came out here for a reason, you know. So, so what's that reason? That reason is to do music. Yeah. yeah. All right. Most people do the opposite. They go to New York. Yeah, I came, know, came to Jersey to get it going. But it's too much people out there in New York, so, you know, it's crowded over here. You know, I came to here because, um, I came here because, I came here because, um, I wanted to see and test my music skills. So, I mean, so tell me, what have you got, what have you gotten out of this program in here, Rhymes for Reason? What I got out of this program? Yeah. I got out of this program, the business side of, um, music and I uh, see that, you know, we, uh, I see that music is very serious, you know, it's very serious, it's the copywriting, your music and everything of your own, um, learn how to rhyme, you know, learn how to do different things, uh, we try to, like, um, uh, I'm sorry, um, Basically, I mean, like, the teachers basically have to um, get into the business side of you. Know, that's what's up about it. <laughs> so, um, you know, you're from Brooklyn, we're here in Newark. We know it's a lot of different uh, challenges that the young people go through. Um, do you see this as like a viable outlet ever heard of it? for you to have something positive to do before you know their music? Or is this something that should be shut down? It should be something, it should be something to like, where I like the music because um, there's a lot of people who want to be in the music industry and um, you're not going to have a program like this. You know? So, um, it's like, it's like a lot of people out here want to rap, don't want to get into the business side, but it's a lot of people want to get into the business side. Some people want to get into the business side. So, you got certain people like me want to get inside the business, um, into the business side. So, um, you know, I want to basically, you know, I love the business side of music because the only way you need to teach music is the business side of music, right? So, well, it sounds like you're learning a lot here, man. I, I, um, I just want to ask you if there's anything you can say to the people to encourage them to, uh, to pursue their dreams in the way that you are. I mean, you just got up and left your home state. <laughs> you know, and pursue your dreams. Is there anything else you can tell the other young people that might be in the same place that so basically my dreams are basically be my own business, you know, baby boy master beats, B and that's my name, B and B, baby boy master beats. Um I'm trying to run my own business. I wanted to run my own business, but I'm going to run my own business to and um the whole process of running my business I work harder to take more advantage of it. I just want to tell the people, man. Um, stay strong. <laughs> and, you know, whoever want to be in the music business, man, it's best to train first. And then after you train, you uh, work on getting your goals up if you want to work on the trains. <laughs> All right. Peace and love, Ross, for reasons. Keep it going. Easy. I'm not really ready for this. <laughs> nah, it's all good, but it's like this is like great because now you know 
what to expect. Yeah, you know, now I need to start know, ready. You got to be ready to talk about what you mean, like. your goals, your ambitions, everything that you're shopping to do. You know, because literally, like, that camera is the world. Yeah, basically. You know, I mean, that camera <laughs> is the world. The world is the eyes of the, of the world, you know. So, you know, you got to be prepared and you should be excited to speak about, you know, who you are and what you do. You know, and you get the time, you know. Now you know what to rehearse, you know, so when that big camera comes in, you know, and the bigger that you make it, the more valuable and put it like this to be. Yes, before you actually got to the Yeah, because I mean, like, you know, like, speaking of the business side, I love the business side, you know, I have to like it, because I want to own my own business, you know, and point out you, they really match the beats, so it's to me, the beat making, engineering, slash, um, digital arts, um, I want to, I want to, like, I want to learn all this stuff, too. like I said, take more advantage of what you have, and what you, you know, what you see, you know, don't try to, like, Shout out to all my peeps in New York and Jersey. And you know, this is Baby Boy. So, peace. Peace. <laughs> Alright. So, um, we're here at Rhymes for Reasons. Um, FP Youth Outcry here in Newark, New Jersey. I'm here with one of the students in the program here. Um, he's also one of the, uh, the world renowned boxers here. We also got a boxing gym right on the other side. Um, give me your name, where you from? I'm Kyrie, I'm from North. Alright, so um, what I'd like to ask you, man, is um, uh, tell me what's the importance of uh, this establishment that's going on right now, man, around some reasons and everything that's still you know, going on here at the clubhouse. It's positive, everything keeps you out of trouble, keeps you busy. And they're working hard to keep the children from dying, truthfully. Because if they want for this, they'd be in the streets. So this program is keeping, it's teaching you business, teaching you music, and it's teaching you respect. Just like in the boxing, it teaches you discipline. And it keeps you out of trouble, keeps you alive. Oh, man. So, I mean, I, one thing I can say, man, I appreciate programs like this because I know these didn't exist um, when I was your age. You know, you pretty much had to be a little bit more creative, but now you can just fill out an application and find yourself in a program such as these. Um, what would you say is, um, you know, one of the biggest um, problems, you know, facing youth today, you know, that should probably be addressed in a program like this? Nobody loves them. Their parents, most of their parents are crackheads or in jail. So nobody might love them. And this program right here, I mean, y'all, y'all giving this, y'all can show this love. Cause that's why people killing each other, because nobody love them. They don't care no more. Uh, I think that's that we done. We done. That's it. I, I, there you go. You know, so that's that's what fuels our program. You know, that's what fuels us being here. You know, it's all out of love for each other, um, respect for life, um, and also honoring everyone's talents. You know, there's so much talent here in North New Jersey that it's almost foolish for us to just let it go to, you know, to the grave. You know, just and, and say whatever. That's just what happens in North. Nah, we're not gonna accept that. You know, we had too many young geniuses here in the city of North, and we're gonna do everything that we can. To make sure that we pull out those talents and present to the world these leaders that we know lay right here in North New Jersey. So yeah, appreciate it. Anything else you want to tell us about the program to the world? Anything it's else? a good one. Like all the teenagers gonna come here, especially if you're in the club music, you can make your own club be in here, and it teach you a lot of stuff, a lot of things, business, music, everything. Right. Keep you, keep you doing something. Then in the streets, killing each other over stupidness. Hey, you heard it from his, right from his mouth, man. I'm from the hood, but I'd rather be here than be out in the streets. Doing something productive, you know, that's what it's all about, you know, progress. You know, if every day you're working at something, you know, before you know it, you'll look up and be like, wow, I made so much progress over the past week or the past two weeks. But you got to make those steps, you know, nobody can go and hold your hand and walk you through success. You have to actually walk towards success until you get it. Know, so thank you for tuning in with us, Rhymes for Reasons, FPU Thought Cry. Shout out to my brother Tariq, um, all the staff, 